I'm very keen to know how it is that you, in a sense that you dare to say that without a belief in religion, I would have no source for ethical or moral It's not what I'm beliefs. saying. You seem to hint at it. No. D did he not? No. Oh, I'm not saying you don't know morality, Christopher. I'm saying you can't justify morality without a being beyond yourself. So that, just to, if I, okay, good. Um, so that if I say that for me it's enough to be willing to love my fellow man and perhaps hope that my fellow man and woman will give me some of the same consideration in return, and that, um, after all, uh, the, the Samaritan, of whom we've all heard, uh, was the only one to help after the priests and the Levites had passed by. And the Samaritan also, though he's talked of by Jesus, can't have been a Christian because he appears in a story told by Jesus, so there can't be any Christianity before that. Somehow, he knew the moral thing to do is to help his fellow person without a religious instruction. Yes, that's And what, that's actually the whole point of the parable, though it's not the way it's usually told. And that's what Christianity teaches. You know morality. It's written on your heart. You don't need the scripture to know right from wrong. And this was only available to us 2,000 years ago. No, no. You've known it from the beginning of time. Conscience has been on humanity from ev forever. You'll have to that's let me point. press you a little bit on that. I mean, William Ewart Gladstone spent a huge amount of his life and he was a great scholar of Latin and Greek, showing that every one of the Greek uh, Socratic and other moral precepts, all they were were just prefigurations of Christianity. These were just the best the Greeks could do before Jesus arrived. But no, the, no, 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 no. But, because he couldn't that. face the idea that these solidarities and moralities and understandings are innate in people and don't require divine permission. I just have to ask you, if you could do it plainly, which side do you come down on? Do you think we need divine permission to act humanly to each other? No, it has nothing to do with permission. It has to do with the ontological category known as morality. Where does morality come from? Does it come from the benzene molecule, the carbon molecule, the oxygen molecule? In your worldview, where does it come from? Suppose that we were having this discussion before the existence of molecules was understood. It's irrelevant. No, it's not, because the, the discussion about where does the good come from was being conducted before Lucretius uh, developed the atomic theory, uh, before um, Democritus and Epicurus, I should better say, understood that the whole world was made up of atoms and molecules. Before that was known, people were arguing, why do we behave one way uh, to our fellows, and we call it good, and, and another way, and we call it wicked? Because it's written the molecular, on... The, you can't, I don't think you can build in a molecular distraction to that. It, that's, it's, I'm the, I don't have the molecular problem. You do. So you're a materialist. I'm trying to ask you, where does morality come from in a materialistic worldview? 